Hey folks, I'm going to post the blog in a minute, but thought I'd talk a little bit about it before we posted. I'm going to talk about homomorphic encryption and ads. Uh, we all know that encryption plays a key role in protecting data. Um, if I encrypt data uh, and it's hacked, the hacker can make sense of it. Uh, I could share it. The party who has it can't see it. Uh, if my data is in the cloud and it's encrypted, then it can't be given to law enforcement. If I'm the only one with the key to the encryption, uh, it's protected if uh, there is a breach. Um, the cloud provider can't snoop at the data. Um, uh, a lot of protection. However, if I want certain functions computed on that data, well, like maybe I want to search in the cloud. Um, I want the provider to give me a search uh, capability from wherever I am. Well, if the provider cannot see the data, the provider cannot search the data uh, or do other functions on the data. So maybe I'm a researcher and I want to analyze certain kinds of data, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's got to be kept private by the organization that's holding it. Uh, if it's encrypted, I have a hard time making good use of the data. And very often, researchers want data that may be held by two different parties. Maybe I want to learn whether people in the hospital end up being readmitted at another hospital. Um, if both sets of those data are private, uh, both of the providers maybe encrypt the data. Uh, so if they gave it to me, I, I couldn't do anything with it. I have two different encrypted sets of data. The holy grail, according to some researchers, would be if people who have to keep data private organizations that are holding data confidentially could encrypt it so nobody can read it or see it or access it, but I could do analysis on it so that I could create a report uh, and uh, come up with some interesting conclusions. People who provide, we provide support to try to get them off of uh, homeless uh, situations. Do they end up getting a job? Do they end up in housing? Again, data held elsewhere. People don't share that. But if it was encrypted and we didn't know who or what, but yet we could run a report that said, yes, 10% of the people who uh, we gave rental assistance uh, or medical assistance or other uh, services did end up in housing, did end up in a job, but the people who got this didn't, tremendous amount of research can be done. It sounds like that holy grail, we've been making some uh, progress towards it. Researchers have been working on sophisticated ways that by double encrypting data uh, in ways that are related, but completely de-identified to any of the parties, you might run some processes like adding or comparing some very basic uh, processes that because there's a relationship between the way the data has been encrypted by each of the two different organizations, even though it's encrypted in a way that they cannot access. They've encrypted it and they've encrypted it again um, uh, by sending it to the other party who encrypts it in a secret way. So I've got data that each party has encrypted. Obviously you could put all your data through uh, and understand what was in there, but if you encrypt it, you send it to someone else, they can't access it. And then they encrypt it with their key all of a sudden, I've got data that is blind to one organization, is blind to the other, and if they mash that together, well, it's unintelligible. But if I can run uh, certain processes on it and run reports and come up with some high-level conclusions, wow, right? So there's been some process over the last couple of years. A number of researchers have started working on ways to leverage some very sophisticated mathematics to do this. Uh, and um, have been making some progress. The only problem is it can take trillions and trillions of time, uh, cycles uh, to do this fairly complex math. And so getting this to be usable and scalable has been the, the, uh, the effort. And there have been some efforts that have uh, made this easier and easier. And now it appears that Google, um, uh, because of their goal of, of course, better understanding initially uh, advertising, has made an advance in homomorphic encryption uh, that has enabled them to link up data, data about ads delivered and data about whether people purchase using a credit card in the store so that you can know whether or not advertising has led to people purchasing. Now, given that credit cards, ads, sensitive data, 
there's been some debate and flap about that. Does Google have your credit card? Does Google know where you shop and so on and so forth? Um, and that's to be expected in this world of debate about advertising. It's always controversial. But looking a little more closely at the technology that was brought, brought to bear here, frankly, really, really interesting, not only for advertising. I mean, if we're going to advertise and we're going to learn about uh, how uh, people uh, click on ads or don't, I think we certainly appreciate notices and choices and, and banners that give you uh, information, but putting real sophisticated technology into this process so that technically and mathematically data cannot be identified, but yet you can get your conclusions. Um, that's obviously been the holy grail. So glad to see Google advancing that. But I think we're actually excited because there are far uh, broader uses um, if indeed this double blind uh, matching does advance the state of homomorphic encryption to, to be fully homomorphic encryption, uh, such that we can learn information from data that is really well uh, encrypted and de-identified, that really will be an advance that's worth um, a lot more um, a study and analysis. Now, um, there are challenges um, if uh, data queries made to this set of uh, encrypted data uh, are structured so that uh, you try to target learning something about one individual. Uh, there certainly are ways that you could have repeated queries that might narrow down. Uh, and uh, if, I, if I know that there is only one CEO in the group and I ask certain queries. So you do need to be uh, in control of the kinds of queries run against this data to ensure you're not running some that could help uh, draw some inferences uh, about the information. But the data itself, it seems to be, is mathematically uh, very well uh, protected. Anyway, we'll be uh, posting uh, a blog uh, on this uh, shortly because we think there's a real uh, need to look hard at the technology here. Uh, it looks like Google did put some real sophisticated work uh, with uh, academic researchers for a couple of years into this. Um, again, no surprise that it got some debate because the data linked up here is ad impressions, clicking on ads, um, and credit card transactions in stores. So certainly that's the kind of thing that gets uh, attention and discussion. Um, but I think credit to them for really bringing um, some cutting edge technology and maybe even advancing uh, the state of our ability to do research and analysis with encryption uh, as they delivered this to the market. All right, stay tuned for the blog. Um, maybe print it out and read it on your couch over coffee over the Memorial Day weekend or on your iPad um, uh, uh, so, um, uh, so that it's a little more leisurely. Anyway, hope this was useful. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.